I have a I have a lot to say on actually two two subjects that are that that I'm particularly passionate about it, and that's one of them: drug education. So know what you're getting into, and it, and they're kind of the similar message. Uh, same thing on the schooling. Don't know what you're getting into. Mm. Just know what. Just know ahead of time what you're getting into. And so um, I don't. I'm not a proponent of saying it's bad or it's this or that or don't do it. Just go get educated about it so you can make an educated decision. I mean, it goes for everything: your career, your school, um, drug education. But the drugs, especially, um, are so. Well, you know, some people might disagree, but they're destructive. Who cares? You they're say your viewpoint. It's they're my just show. destructive. Yeah, I've seen it from a different viewpoint than most people, right? Um, uh, I've seen it from people having accidents while driving impaired, mm -hmm. uh, having accidents in the home while they're impaired. So it's not just driving. Uh, it could be kitchen utensil accidents, or sure, uh, all of a sudden there's a flare-up in a domestic dispute. And I mean, I've been to some really nasty people being scenes. high, falling asleep, and burning their couch, and then the house down. I'm sure oh, you've been absolutely. called to calls like that. Absolutely. Yeah. And and I, and I'm going to be very frank right now. That includes alcohol. Mm -hmm. Okay, alcohol number one drug. Absolutely. Right. Um, I am guilty of having used alcohol in excess in my youth, um, but. It wasn't until later when I really started to get into fitness and really started to learn things and started to learn what these things do to the body mm -hmm. that you realize you are paying a price. That's right. Whether you see in the future or not, you are paying a price later. Yeah, you're not actually looking into your liver right now and knowing and what you your binging right on the is head doing. Your exactly. Liver, right? And, you, and, and uh, you know, a lot of people, well, whatever. and you know, they're Because they're not looking at it. Yeah, and they're a little careless about, well, the future, and who cares if I live sure. old, and they're nonchalant about it. That may be, you know, that's fine. But uh, living old with a really poor quality of life is a whole different picture that's that right. a lot of people don't get. That's right. And, you know, going to get dialysis every week, and sure. you, know, you look that one up. Go sure. to one of those places. The price, you know? is, the price is paid. You know, nothing, nothing goes in without some kind of reaction in the body. You, you know, food is used and broken down and you're into fitness, so you know there's certain foods that'll assimilate and certain ones that won't and certain ones that'll cause what they would say. Obviously then, it's the same with any drug. You very, uh, very much so, and it kind of ties in with my work because uh, one of the questions people always ask me is, well, is it dangerous? Hmm. And I go, well, it's interesting, firefighting, when, when you're trained to do something and you know how to do it and you do it correctly, you don't think about it being dangerous. Mm. I mean, there may be odd situations that are a little tricky, but you're competent when because you're well-trained and well-drilled, right? Mm -hmm. um, the danger in the profession is toxins, period, straight up mm. all the time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you get trained on it, we wear our air masks and the whole bit. Well, one of the oddities when I, during my career, you know, my little brother said, I, I decided I'm going to be a firefighter. And I had to take him and sit him down. I said, look, we have a shorter lifespan. We have this, the heart attacks, the cancer, the, all these weird things, which they suspect is from the toxins uh, and the exertion and all of that kind of stuff. But, you know, I had to talk to him about that. Mm. And um, so I would always watch it very carefully. But, but now, you know, the fire service started getting the air mask, and they get through the period of the bravado of, I don't wear that, the kids, new guys wear that, you know, I've never worn one. They get through mm -hmm. that, and then everybody's pretty good about safety. Uh, wearing it and taking their safety, but the uh, lifespan is not changing. Mm. What's going on? Interesting. I mean, this is, is interesting. Maybe it needs to just be a longer cycle to be able to tell. And then something happened one time where I got injured, and I had to be off work for a certain amount of time because I had an injury. And uh, when I came back to work, I walked in the station, and the smell of the diesel smoke hit me so hard, oh. I couldn't even go in there. Wow. And I said, that's what's killing us. Wow. Every time you back that fire engine in. Wow. And so then the next evolution was we get the things and hook them on there and suck it out and let it go out the roof. But it's still, you're exposed to it. You're exposed to it when you're sure. on the sidewalk with a patient and it's blowing. And, sure. and that's a known carcinogen. Sure. Right? But it wasn't until I had that experience when I went, wow. And two days later, I couldn't smell it. 
Yeah. It numbs your nose. Sure. But those that's a, that's an example of a very um, harsh toxin that's going in your body. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of chemicals that go in your body, the body can't process. Right. Or it can't process well or right. at all. So it has to deal with this added stress. Yeah. On top of a lot of stuff that's in your food. Don't get me started on that. Yeah. But... You know, it's not stuff that the body's used to processing. And so you know, it's just a load, a load, a load, right, a load. Right. And then, uh, you know, and any drug is the same thing. Right. It's a chemical the body's not used to. The other thing is the accumulated amounts of things. You're, again, like you can't look into your liver and see the condition of your liver in present time. You're actually also not knowing how much radiation you're walking around with in a little stockpile in your body. You're not knowing how many... Uh, free radical damage that you have, you're not gonna know those things. So any new thing you add could be the thing that's the tilt. Right. It's the it's way I look at it. Stuff starts systems just start breaking down. I used to down. tell people by the time you notice it, yeah. You're in deep trouble. Yeah. So the last thing you want to do is add toxins that you know right. or or you know poisons, which we know drugs are, to a system that you, you don't know really the condition you're in, you know? Right, and it's just one of the things just get educated on. I remember going to a drug education seminar um, and being startled when the guy said how many years it took for metabolites from alcohol to mm. come out of your body. Mm -hmm. I'm like, alcohol, that's gone in 24 hours. Mm. Not yeah. all of it. No, no. Not all of it. See, now, I'm not talking about impairment. I'm not talking no. about the You're alcohol. Talking about the I'm literal talking thing about the chemical the yeah. piece, the one little chemical piece that that body can't break down that has to get stored somewhere and is like a burr in your body yeah. every time you do it. Yep. And 